The audio you're about to hear was recorded in Anchor. Learn more at anchor.fm. Hello, everyone. It's Friday. Happy Friday to you. I just wanted to see if you have five minutes to talk about pet peeves, because because I got I got a few today. Um, today I just realized I got a, quite a few of them that I probably need to work through. Get some help, perhaps. Um, one of them has to do with Play-Doh. Play-Doh. Now, sometimes you can find it for a buck, maybe, but the good brand, not the cheap one, the actual Play Dash Doh, D O H brand. That stuff ain't always cheap. And it drives me absolutely crazy when people take the Play Doh and they combine the colors. Like, don't do that. Don't, don't freaking do that. Don't do that. Because then you start losing some of the moisture that's in there. You get it all mixed up and it starts looking ugly and everything starts turning gray. And it's like, you should have bought gray Play Doh. Why did you do this? I don't understand. Um, another thing that I found myself having an issue with, you heard me mention yesterday how sleepy I was. And um, I find myself paranoid that I'm going to be late for work, even if it's not a work day. So I don't sleep well at all. <laughs> um, now, mind you, I have a, a nine to five, but I also have uh, freelance work and I also have my company and things and YouTube stuff because it really sucks to be on YouTube as many years as I've been and still not have the subscriber numbers I want. But that's because I don't have the time to make the content that I need to make. I still got some much bigger things I need to be taken care of. But, you know, you be wanting to get a good power nap in and whatnot and recharge your battery and all that and only find out that you'll sleep for five to ten minutes because you're afraid you're going to oversleep. And you have no history of oversleeping. That's a personal pet peeve. Another one is when you talk to someone and they say they're frequently bored and then you decide you're going to give them a call or try to reach out and see if they'd like to go do something and they don't pick up the phone or they send you a message later, well after the fact, like, why you didn't take me? Uh, because you didn't respond to the messages. And I don't, I just don't take well to that because you either do something about being in touch with people so you have an opportunity to get out or you stop freaking complaining about it and calling me to complain about it personally and this is not I, the irony oh my god I was talking to my sister about this earlier today but this ain't even about her this is about somebody else <laughs> her circumstances are a little bit different but the timing of it, it just sounds suspect I wouldn't want her to listen to this and be like heifer that ain't the case um, what's another pet peeve missing my exit off the freeway or the road to get somewhere especially when food is involved um, I missed my exit Missed. wow I missed my exit twice today trying to get to a barbecue joint just a sign that I wasn't supposed to eat it. I have a pet peeve for having to eat the same stuff all the time. I get burned out on that. Blows bubbles. Um, what else? Breaking in new shoes. And then you finally get it to a real comfortable spot. And then you can't get them off with ease because then you can't get the laces tied back to the same degree. Like, I just got, I got problems. <laughs> I got problems. And people having pride and saying, I'm not on social media that much. Yeah, what is that supposed to mean? Like, the entirety of the internet now is websites and social media. If you're not really using it that much, can I trust you? Are you well informed? Do you know what's going on in the world? Mm. I, I just, I don't know. Those are the things that crossed my mind. Uh, I'm sure I have other pet peeves, but those were the ones of today. But that play don't really set me off. It put me in a space, y'all, where I just wanted to, like, throw all the things. But that wasn't going to fix anything. Um... It's Friday. I thought about going to play laser tag or putt-putt golf. Then I realized my bed is, like, really calling me. And I'm like, yeah, I can go to bed early. Sure, whatever. I'm not lame. I am a little bit lame, but that's okay. (sighs) Hopefully you had a good day. Why don't you all do me a favor and leave me some call-ins so I can listen to those and hear about your week or your Friday. Maybe if you have a question or two, I can answer those. Make it a little bit more interesting. Well, that's all I wanted to see if you had, because that's all I have on my plate right now for these five minutes. So hopefully you have a good evening. Bye, y'all.